Good afternoon, friends. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some rebate shopping. I'm gonna head over to Walmart. I got an Ibotta Weekend Warrior bonus of $3 for six offers. However, I already completed it this morning at Meijer. They are having an incredible sale this weekend, Friday and Saturday only. I'm not gonna share the deals that I did in this video, but if you'd like to see the breakdown, I shared it over on Instagram and on TikTok if you wanna check it out there. So I won't be trying to hit that weekend warrior bonus. However, I will be working towards a tea time bonus. I got $7 for 31 offers and I much prefer that to the $10 for 48. This, <laughs> this one is achievable. The $10 for 48 just was not. Um, so I'm going to head in store now and of course take you along with me. So let's go. I'm here at Walmart and the first thing that I'm picking up today is hand soap. These Safeguard soaps are priced at $3.27, so two of them will total $6.54. There's a rebate on Ibotta for $1.50 back on two, and there's also separate rebates on Shopkick for each one of these. Those rebates are giving back 305 kicks with scan and purchase kicks, and that equals $1.22, so I'll get that for each bottle. After the Ibotta and Shopkick rebates, my cost is $2.60 for both bottles or $1.30 each. And I'm happy with that cost because I do like the Safeguard brand. Can you believe that I am still finding this hair care clearance in my Walmart? I'm picking up a Love Beauty and Planet shampoo priced at $2.57 and a conditioner priced at $3.47. Together, they total $6.04. There are separate rebates on Shopkick for each one of these. Those rebates are for 575 cakes with the scan and purchase cakes, and that equals $2.30 for each one. I'll also get a bundle bonus of 250 cakes for purchasing the shampoo and conditioner, and that equals another dollar. After all of those Shopkick rebates, my cost is just 44 cents, but for me, this deal gets even better because I also have a survey on Brand Club for $1.60 back that this purchase will unlock. This shampoo clearance is kind of hidden because it's on the regular shelves and it uses the regular tags. But $3.99 isn't the regular price for these fancy Pantene conditioners. Together, these two will total $7.98, but there's a rebate on Ibotta for $6 back when you purchase two. So after that rebate, these will be $1.98 for both or just $0.99 cents each. I made my way over to the clearance aisle and I found this Revlon lipstick marked down to $1.50. I have a $3 off paper coupon, which should give $1.50 in overage. This Oral-B battery operated toothbrush is marked down to $3.82 and we have a 50 cent I bought a rebate, but I decided to pass because I already have some in my stockpile. I am going to pick up this Revlon powder marked down to $3. I have a $3 off paper coupon, which would make it free. And I checked and it looks great, not used at all. This Ajax dish soap is priced at $1.24 and there's an offer on the coupons.com app for 50 cents back. After the coupon reimbursement, this would be just 74 cents. I'm not going to pick it up today because it's not my preferred brand and I already have plenty of dish soap at home already. The next thing that I am picking up is this Brisk Iced Tea. It's priced at a dollar and we have a 10 cent any tea offer on Ibotta. So after that rebate, it will be 90 cents. We have another free core bar this week. This time it's not from Ibotta, it's from Isle. I'll leave a link to this rebate in my description box below. If you're unfamiliar with Isle, it's actually a website, not an app. And you enter your phone number and they text you and then you text them back a picture of your receipt and they put the money in your PayPal or Venmo account. I haven't heard of this product before, but I thought I'd share the deal. It's on this Vivi and Bloom baby wash. It's priced at $9.98 and there's a rebate on Fetch for $4 back, as well as 250 points back on Shopkick, which equals a dollar. And that makes this product about half off. Next time that you're in Walmart, check for clearance in the breakfast bar and granola bar area because I saw several clearance tags. I did pick up these Cliff Thins, but they didn't ring up for the $2 price. They rang up for the full price of $7.67, so I didn't end up purchasing them. I did get this 10 count box of Nature Valley Biscuits, marked down to $2.29. There's just a 25 cent rebate for it on Ibotta, but it's still a great deal even at that price. 
The best deal that I normally see for these biscuits is when they're on sale at CVS for $1.99, and that's for the five count, which is half the size of this box. I'm picking up a free Gatsby chocolate bar. This is through Aisle. I will leave a link to this offer in my description box below. Because someone used my referral link, I got another free one. Next, I'm picking up this Barilla Spaghetti price at $1.84. There's a rebate on Maryfield for $0.75 cents back, and I also have a rebate on Fetch for $0.30 cents back. So after those two rebates, it will be just $0.79. Cents. I'm also grabbing the Barilla Chickpea Pasta priced at $2.92. There's a rebate on the Maryfield app for 2,000 points back, which equals $2.00. And and I bought a rebate for a dollar back. So after both rebates, this will be free and an eight cent money maker. Today is Friday and the Easter clearance is still at 50%. Last year, it went to 90% off on the Sunday after Easter Sunday. We'll see how it goes this year. There is still a ton left at this store. I've never tried these Cheez-It Puffs before and they look really good. So I'm going to pick them up. They're priced at $3.94 and there's a $0.75 cent off Peely. So I'll pay $3.19 at the register and then submit my receipt to Ibotta for a dollar back. After that rebate, it will be $2.19. I'm disappointed to see that my store is all out of the Flip stuffed pretzels. These look so good and I really want to try them. This is everything that I'm picking up today. You might notice that I have that proper good oatmeal in my cart. I had issues with it and I will go over that in my recap. I'm back home and this is everything that I picked up today at Walmart. You might notice that the Revlon lipstick is missing. And the reason why is because the coupon did not scan the register. The coupon did scan for the powder, but not for the lipstick. And I'm wondering if there's been some sort of system update that is not allowing coupon overage anymore, which would be a shame. Let me know in the comments below if you have any experience with this. Um, if you know anything, let me know uh, because I'm very curious. Another thing that I wanna mention before going over my receipts is that I had an issue with that proper good oatmeal. Um, I had $5 referral credits for sharing a link to the rebate and I hadn't used them all. But when I texted in a picture of my receipt, they said that the program had been deactivated. Well, they didn't tell me that. So I asked in the text message if as a one-time courtesy, they would give me the credit. I haven't heard back, but if I don't get that credit, I am definitely returning that oatmeal because it is not worth it for $5.48. I did get the Ibotta rebate because I didn't know that Isle would do this. And I hate returning things that I've gotten and I bought a rebate for, but it's just too expensive an, of an item that's not worth the price. <laughs> it's great to pick up when it's free or cheap, but it's definitely not worth the price of it otherwise. Here's my receipt for the Gatsby chocolate bar. It is $3.88 and I already know who I'm going to share that with. Here's my receipt for the core bar. It was $2.18. And here's my receipt for everything else. Oh, the other thing that's missing are those Cliff Thins. I thought that I had actually scanned it in store before I went to the register and it was $2, but apparently I didn't do that because it rang up at full price, which is $7.67. So I had her take that off my receipt. I wasn't going to pay that much for them. So I paid $37.86 plus tax at the register. And I got back $9.85 on Ibotta for rebates. And I'm not counting um, what I got back for the proper good. I also got back $0.12 cents on Ibotta for purchasing a gift card. And I'm getting back $3.88 from Aisle for the Gatsby chocolate bar and $2.18 from Aisle for the core bar. I got back $7.80 on Shopkick. And apparently I didn't bother to scan the Love, Beauty, and Planet, but I did scan the Safeguard Soap in. Um, I got back 43 cents on Fetch, and most of that was for the Barilla Pasta. I got back $3.14 on Maryfield, and again, most of that was for the Barilla Pasta. I also got back six cents on Bing. It's actually an app where you can search and see articles, kind of like Yahoo, except they also have 
um, a part of it where you can scan in receipts and you'll get one cent, at least one cent per receipt, but sometimes you get more, like I've gotten 25 cents for cat food before. And for every six receipts that you scan in, you get a bonus. Today, my bonus was three cents. So I got back six cents from Bing today. And thank you to my subscriber, Tanya, for sharing that app with me. Um, I also am getting back $1.60 on Brain Club for a survey for the Love, Beauty, and Planet and $1.15 for a Barilla survey on Brand Club. And I also have $0.62 cents pending in the other items. So after all of those rebates, my final cost is $7.03 or about $0.50 cents per item, and that's excluding the oatmeal. I don't think that $7 is bad for all of this stuff, especially considering the fact that the Nature Valley biscuits themselves, full price is almost $7. And earning these rebates today put me in a good spot to be closer to that tea time bonus. My favorite thing that I picked up today was definitely those Nature Valley biscuits. Those are delicious. If you have not tried them before, I definitely recommend them. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram and TikTok. They are both at Amy Way to Save.